guys, I'm Rob. Have you ever done a movie review wearing goggles? Well, today I'm going to, and we just watched the movie Fired Up. Come on, let's ride to the liquor store around the corner. To... And I'm Anthony. Movie review by Rob. Hey, right, so uh, we just viewed Fired Up. Fired Up. F-U. F-U, yes. Ooh. The advertising campaign for this was to capitalize both Fired and Up, and people just call it F-U. Uh, our theater actually made us take the poster down because they found it offensive. Yeah. Stupid. Just like the movie. Very. All right, so the movie uh, was directed by Will Gluck, starring Nicholas... Nicholas D'Angelo. Augusto, uh, Eric Christian Olsen, Sarah Ramon, yada 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 yada. Bunch of people I don't care about. If you guys haven't seen the trailer for this, this is about two high school students, football players, football players that have decided to uh, join the cheerleading team for a cheerleading three week or yeah three week long camp instead of going to football camp because it's 300 chicks that want to get with guys and being that they're like the only single straight guy there, they're gonna score. Uh, number one complaint, and I think we talked about this a lot, even during the film. We were the only ones in the theater. I mean, granted, we didn't see it opening night. Didn't want to. Not at all. But uh, the uh, the main characters seem a little bit old to be playing high school students. I think the one guy's like 30. Yeah, the one guy... Uh, you may have seen him in a Not Another Teen movie. Yeah, and he was also in Dumb and Dumber-er. He played uh, Harry. No, Lloyd. He played Lloyd. Lloyd. Um, so, I feel like this is always a problem, and they make fun of that, like in Not Another Team movie, that people are cast as to play a lot younger than they actually can. This guy's 30. Come on. High school? He's 17? Look for new talent. I'm sure they're out there. Not saying the guy's not funny. I don't think it was his performance that ruined the movie. I think it was just the writing in general. Very cliche, very cookie cutter, as I like to put it. Very PG-13. Yeah, well, it is rated PG-13, but... Uh, I don't know. It was, it was like it was PG-13 trying to appeal to an R-rated crowd that just wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Uh, overall, the movie's only an hour and a half long, but everything is very predictable in it. Um, favorite parts? Good things about it? I think my favorite part is the gay guy just showing up. Yeah. There's some like small inside jokes, I guess, that the writers had with each other. Like, there's a girl, her, her entire character is based upon her saying something random, everyone going, what? And her going, just saying. Just saying. Just saying. And I didn't laugh. I didn't find it funny, but they kept kept doing it. So. Cram the crappy jokes down my throat. It happens all too often. So I think uh, teenagers wise, they'll probably like it because Not maybe, all, dude. no, teenagers won't. I, I, I think the, the past couple of days I was in like working, mm -hmm. no one, I think maybe one to two people in the theater liked it laughed at it period I, for I one showing most showings were empty I don't know it's just it doesn't appeal to anyone it's just not interesting yeah and I would say it's a shame but this is one of those movies where I was just like ah whatever let, let the little kids have it maybe they, they like seeing 30 year olds uh, pretend to be like them I don't I don't so overall rating uh, I'm gonna give this uh, one and a half out of five burgles I'm gonna give it three out of ten Three out of ten and one and a half out of five, so not high marks. Um, and I, I, you know, there's a movie I, you might have seen. I uh, reviewed it last week. I love you, man. Comes out March twentieth. Uh, that movie, hysterical. That's a comedy. Whether it's R or not, I've seen good PG thirteen movies, but that's funny. That actually has good writing, and I look forward to more movies like that. So fired up. Crap. More like pissed off. Fucking horrible. I hope this was as good for you as it was for me. So keep them coming, and remember, I'll be watching.